here's what we're wearing. We've got uh, just a bow, uh, improvised bow, 35 pounder. We got some wooden arrows. We got a screwdriver. We're going to go inside the abandoned bunker and we are going to have fun. We're going to mainly go through a few tactics, trying to do no power um, and obviously getting the key cards and a few other things. There will be a video coming up that will cover the majority of this stream, but this stream is going to be a lot more in depth into the nitty gritty details because it's live action and it can be as long as we want it to. Yay. Got my water, got my coffee. I'm ready to go. All right, 120 and 120 to 220 and 280. Excuse me. The 40. Hmm. Been a while since I've mathed. Okay, so we just need to get this. All right, all right, all right, plus 40. There we go. Okay, we got it. Game sounds weird. Headphones, push talk. Oh, I don't like the cardio. I'm not cardiophobic. It's just I don't like the, the heart beating a thousand beats per minute. Oh, that's why it sounds weird, because I haven't done the Logitech custom sound on the headset yet. Bear with me one minute, guys. I'm just going to quickly put the surround sound on the headset. Jaden, my friend. What's up, man? Uh, gaming, traditional, uh, acoustics, flat, uh, FPS. Perfect. So there's two ways you can go about doing an abandoned bunker, one of which is loud, and the other way is quiet. Today, since we don't have any melee weapon, we're actually going to go quiet. Here, puppet. Wow. Do you see that, guys? Right away, we got a quiver and a pair of gloves. That's what dreams are made of right there. All right, so we have... Um, this would just be done with, obviously, advanced archery. Which you could spend ignore these stats because we're not these aren't gonna have any ad, uh, contribution to our skill other than constitution giving you more health essentially this would be with an advanced archery um setup you don't have to run advanced archery i would actually highly recommend against it i would suggest starting with advanced melee and tomorrow's video that's going to come out hopefully will have a little bit more in depth into a fresh startup this is just the technique uh later will be the entirety or tomorrow's video will be the, the whole entirety of it uh, from scratch so, like i said two ways to go about doing it and there's two ways to get in if you only have a couple screwdriver uses and you're not quite you know comfortable with the, the locks you can just fail them and brenner will come upstairs all right see what we get 160 160 okay Oh no, don't walk through that stupid door. I get the uh I'm missing something. Now I need that. There we go. Now we just need to take away that and that. Oof. What one we don't need. Might be a tricky one. Okay, it's 130. Switch the numbers. Switch the numbers. Only we had much bigger. Okay. No, we're not gonna be able to get this one. Why can I do it? Oh, off that. 
Oh well. Sometimes you get them. It's been a, a hot minute since I have done these, but that might happen. You might fail. Remember, you'll you have three screwdriver uses. Every time you go in, you use one. Let's give it a minute. 40, well, actually, we'll give it 45 seconds. We'll let it calm down and we'll try again. Be 10 seconds. Two. One. 200. Alright. That's a much bigger number, but uh, it seems like. Okay, somebody's right here. He's facing the wrong way, which makes it easy for us to just get the, the baby shot on him. Way overshot his head there. Turn this filter on for you guys so you can see. That one off. Double filter looks weird. Alright, so when you're listening for the razor sounds, I've done a little video on this, and yes, I will redo the video like I said I, I promised I would. I just haven't gone about doing it yet. With no computer, kind of made it difficult. There's a sound, and a little bit of an ominous sound you can hear. You'll hear when we start searching some things. It get louder and louder and louder. Here it is. Arrow. We're gonna kind of dilute everything here as we go. Oh, there we go. When it gets to a certain point in that sound, they'll start doing this rattling noise. Obviously that is a trigger for a razor that it could spawn if you keep making noise. But if you stop making noise at that point and let the rattling stop, you'll be fine. Remember to keep an eye on that eye icon. You never know when a puppet's gonna walk through the wall and just come and beat the piss nuggets out of you. So just keep watching it. There's a noise. I'm gonna keep searching. And then we just give it a second. It's gone away. And keep searching again. Now, since that noise is very loud, and if you're afraid of other players, oh, see, there we go. You're probably going to want to not search to that point. You're going to want to give it a little bit of a break prior to hitting that noise threshold. You'll get used to it after a while on how much noise you can make, but you'll also get used to how loud that ambient noise is getting before it actually hits the trigger noise. Searching some items make more noise than others. There we go. We're going to get a spawn now. We hold down here and listen. We got the shot there, like I said, with an improvised bow, it is pretty easy to get done as long as you're, you learn the shot. This is a 35 pound bow, all we have are two silencers on there, slip on, it's very easy to make. Uh, just so you can shoot a few more times before having to worry about there being any spawns. We're going to leave this door open, because it makes a lot of noise to close. Listen for that ambient. Sounds like there's probably going to be a spawn in here. I think it's actually going to be in the hallway. Oh, no. It's coming here now. It will drop in here. Just kind of give him a second to drop and then shoot him right in the back. Remember, as I said in all my videos about Bandit Bunk, because you got to shoot above. you got to shoot a little bit higher in the back than you think. Uh, don't shoot too low. Now, the, the reason we came out in here with a hiking backpack was because even though you can do abandoned bunkers without one, 
I don't personally believe that abandoned bunkers are worth doing until you have a hiking backpack. Because the chances of getting a backpack, a hiking backpack, in an abandoned bunker is extremely low. Very low. You're better off just obtaining a hiking backpack from gas station or somewhere else that allow, will allow you to carry more stuff out. Because that's really what you want, right? These, these places are filled with good loot. Just filled with good loot. You want to be able to take as much of that loot as you can. Clothing, on the other hand, is pretty easy to get. In these spots, any of these spots down there, on that shelf, uh, in there, on the beds. I don't know why there's a puppet getting mad. You can get backpack spawns, and that would possibly give you a hiking backpack spawn, but it's holding your breath for that chance. That's a little bit... Um, it's a bit of an ask. We're going to hit this side now. I'm not saying that I've never found a hiking backpack. It's just unlikely. Very rarely have I found them. Even on like advanced, like multiples of loot spawn in here. No. Of course. Remember, we're looking at that eye icon, making sure nobody sees us. That's how we knew there was no puppets in here. He's gonna drop here. Now, if you miss that shot and you don't have a melee weapon like we have, we don't have one right now, don't freak out. I highly recommend you walk up to him. And I know you're like, why walk up to him? What are you talking about? If you walk back and try to get more distance on them, they're going to pin you. They will do the charge and they will knock you over. If you come close to them, they won't do the pinning attack. It's only if you're at a distance. So just remember that. Falling, you missed the critical shot. You walk up to them. I always check the bathroom because you never know when you're going to get a medical... One second. Excuse me. Uh, never know we're going to get like a bottle of isopropyl alcohol or whatever. And all that is very useful at this point. And we don't have any rags. If we get hit once, um... We're kind of hooped on what we can use to bandage ourselves right now. There's a crappy emergency bandage. Um, I'm not going to pick that up because burn gel doesn't do anything. There's some nice pants. I brought the tactical uh, military compass in here, guys. I, I didn't find one in here, though. You can find them pretty easily in here. I might spawn in the center there, uh, but that's okay. Oh, no, he's going to spawn right here. So we've got a fuse, a 600 amp fuse. We can go into these um, depositories pretty easily now. Look at all this extra clothing we have. if you always listen to where that baby cry is ending up and that little rattle he's gonna drop right on us here like I said you can always hit that spot that weak spot on their back it's very easy to hit just need to know what counts as it and what doesn't but like I said if you go over the shoulder shots on them I'm gonna say nine times out of ten you'll you'll hit that spot We don't want another one spawning, so we're just going to not do anything for a second. Wait for all the rattling to stop. And now we'll continue. Ooh, nice. A better pair of pants. Those are our quality, so we're going to swap them out. We're going to wait until we get scissors. Now, downstairs, you're going to get scissors. Um, most likely, better medical gear as well. So we're just going to hold on to some of this extra clothing, because it's going to be worth... Um, Keeping. You never know when you're going to get a bottle of isopropyl alcohol, like I've said before. Alright, let's keep going. Now, I have found screwdrivers here last. Did you get a new CPU replace, uh, replacement? 
was a replacement, yes. It was just, I don't know, it's so weird. I never tried it though, when I bought it. I had never plugged it in because I was like, I didn't need to. I was like, oh, it'll work obviously. It's a, a CPU. I've never, ever had a CPU just not work. But I'm guessing the motherboard damaged it, but they didn't care. They just, they just re refunded it. Or not refunded, but replaced, I should say, rather. Not gonna be it doesn't look like we're gonna be getting any screwdrivers here today. The reason why I'm finding so many key cards, guys, is because on my server I have it set that there is no limit on how many key cards you can obtain. The reason for this is if you go into an abandoned bunker and you die, you can get a key card to keep going through and proceed further into the bunker to get your stuff. I thought that was kind of like a help for some of the new people who are not quite well versed in these bunkers yet all right this is all done here somebody drop out there nope all right. jumping also reduces noise as you can see you don't make noise when you are in the air obviously and they still walk through walls so be weary of that. The bug has never been fixed. The meshes have never been made. Alright. I'm still struggling with a little bit of a cough. I don't know, it's strange. It's been quite a while. Okay, those... I'll tell you one thing real quick about these doors. These doors make noise when you, when you open and close them. These doors don't. That one does. These sliding doors don't. You don't have to worry, like, we can, like, sit here literally opening and closing the whole time. Do it a few more times just to kind of show. There's no ambient music. There's no raise spawns. No noise. Okay. On the other hand, most other doors, especially those yellow ones and those open and close ones over there, make a lot of noise. Remember, each door has a different noise. It's it's very weird. Because you hear it and you're like, that's definitely making noise. But apparently not to razors. They're like, that's a normal sounding door for them. That's just normal ambient white noise for them. Alright, we got another spawn gonna drop here. There's some alcohol. I like standing on the side. For me, I just find it's easier to get the shots, but then again, they don't have predetermined spawn locations anymore. They could drop in any uh, any fashion. It could be facing any direction, so there's not. It's just whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you get good at shooting. All right, before we put the fuse, actually, we can put the fuse in now. I think we have a 400. We do A and F, but when when we come back. Because the fuse time only counts when you activate the fuse. All right. I don't really want to deal with razor, so we're just going to give it a second. Um, we're going to go to B block. I want B block because my beloved B block is going to give me a meat cleaver. And if you guys, you know, have followed any of my streams or anything like that, you know I love using the meat cleaver. I by far my favorite weapon in these abandoned bunkers. Good damage, good speed. Easy to get headshots. Oh, there's a screwdriver use. Oh, another screwdriver. We're not going to go too much into the armories as I've talked about this before. I think everyone knows what you can get there and it's not really news at this point. Like if we have the screwdrivers, we'll go down there and, and check it out. We're going to close that door because there's another trick about razors. 
if they don't find you in 45 seconds of you making noise and they spawn, they will leave you alone. They will climb back up the hole that they came out of. But if they're screaming at you and know where you are, it'll take longer. In the meantime, we're going to have one of these fancy drinks here. We're going to monitor our food and water. It's looking all right, but we're going to eat some of these things that we have. Because you can actually find a surprisingly high amount of food, drinks, and stuff like that in these bunkers. There goes a drone, I'm hoping. There's two drinks there. And a 200 amp fuse we don't want to really want to carry around, so I'm just going to drop it on the ground. I don't know if we need this AKS mag, so I'm going to put it down as well. Alright, like I said, we have no melee weapon, right? So, okay, technically we have a knife. Want to be careful. We'll give it a few more seconds and see if he buggers off. I think he might be angry at us and know where we're where we're at because we ran. He's making that growly noise. I don't think he'll leave this time. Just take a step back, shoot an arrow. Take a step back, shoot an arrow. Take a step back, shoot an arrow. You'll kill him in four headshots, guys. Don't run. Do not run from these guys. If you run, they chase you down, they pin you to the ground, and make you look like a big baby. Remember that. Don't run. Even without melee, you can still fight them at melee distance because their animation is attack, stop. Stop, attack, move. Stop, attack, move. So they can't hit you and move at the same time. Unless you're running. Then you're screwed. Alright, so we're gonna do. Uh, what do we got? We got a uh, 400 in there, so A and B for now. I'm gonna go over here to the beloved room where we get my prized. Oh, see, Brenner did come up here. Doors open. Just shoot that walking guy there and shoot this guy there. And... Pretty fancy. I wish I could walk like that. Alright, let's see if there's any puppets in here. One guy there. We'll kind of just stop and let the noise go away just because, like I said, not everyone's super well coordinated and taking out razors, so I'm not going to create a situation where there's going to be 100 razors. Remember, there's only a spawn if there's the crying and the rattling at the same time, and the crying is persistent. Hopefully we had a cleaver here. I'm going to be quite upset if we don't. Ooh. There you go. That's going to be a spawn out there. There's no cleaver here, so we're just going to leave through this door. We're going to shut this door. He's going to freak out in there, but he's okay. He's stuck back there. Let me go ahead and open one of these up. That was almost a misclick that one there. The way I do those keypads is I do the highest number, and then I, I did it wrong that time, but normally what I do is the highest number, the middle number, the low number. So I'll go 751, 715, 571, 517, 175, 157. It's just a combination of how I do it so that I can remember the one I did without having to sit there like, oh shit, what did I do again? Because that's frustrating. So as long as you set up a pattern of how you do the numbers, you can remember them easily. And if you don't, go into squad and just type it in there, whatever ones you didn't do or did do. Hey, Shadow, how's it going? I'm in a decent mood too. I can finally. Oops. 
I finally start playing my computer. That startled me. I thought that was going to be... It sounded like it was behind us. We're not going to take the toolkit because our inventory is pretty full and there's going to be so much stuff to grab. But you know what? There we go. Look at that. Easy peasy. Let me squeezy. Easy peasy. Shadow coming in with the silver support. There we go. There's a little alert. Thank you so much for the support, my friend. Appreciate it. It's to a good cause. Feed a, a feed of palfy. I just realized that there was no audio there. Sound alert. Was there? Uh, sound alert. Oh, monitor and output. Yeah, okay, it did happen. Bling. Yay! I'm gonna pay for my my addiction, my scum addiction. Maybe we will put this in here. We got so much stuff. Look at this. We haven't even like barely done anything. Middle mouse button. Punch him. Give some distance. Arrows. Three arrows to the head, guys. Boom. Save your life. Don't try and draw back the bow while they're beating the shit out of you. Middle mouse button. Punch him in the face. Stagger them. Then go ahead and start shooting. We are going to... Oh, that's full. Some other clothing in here. How does a hat weigh more than the pants? Or the shirt? I've never found a hat that weighed that much, but... Oh, well, whatever. We can put that in there. Gives us a little bit more room. We're gonna go check the fuse. It should be eight minutes, I think. We've got plenty of time. So we're gonna turn off B and go to F. The front. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just not a big fan of what it looks like, personally. Like, everyone's up entitled to their own games, right? But... So we need, we know we need to do 398 and 389. So we're gonna punch those into our squad chat. Do it in squad. The reason I do squad is because if you do local, people can read it. Ooh, that was a quick shot. We had to be snappy pappy. If you put it in global, people can read it obviously. And if you put it in local, people can, local is actually pretty far and people could see like a number and automatically know you're in the bunker because well, They'd be close enough to see that hey this this went off over in this area and there's only one abandoned bunker nearby right yeah we can do 874 847 784 748 and it's 478 or 487 hey Casal, how are you doing and we'll kill this guy sure welcome to the stream Why am I getting hurt? Oh, I thought I heard Brenner. He was waiting for us. So he does come upstairs, guys. Remember that. But these are all little safe areas you can go. Um, he can't get to you in these side rooms. And I need to know how to long how long steam balance lasts. Like a credit, like um, a Steam credit or like a gift card? Or, oh, a Steam wallet, I should say. A Steam wallet, I'm pretty sure it lasts for a long time. Because I've sold things and... They're still perfectly available to me. Or the money, I should say. Yeah, I think it's quite a while, man. I wouldn't worry about it going away. Okay, he's leaving. So he's gonna go to two places, guys. Shit, I forgot about that door making noise. So, that was my mistake because I should have known that door made noise even though I literally just talked about this and the door is making noise. Um, but when Brenner comes and aggroes to you and actually sees you, he waits that 45 seconds, right? 
After that 45 seconds, he's going to go back to the original noise. So he's going to go back to the alarm. There's the fuse. Damn it. So he'll go to that door. And then afterwards, he'll actually go to the door in A block. Because that was the second door that I opened. Or the first door that I tried the code on. He might get stuck in the stairs as well. But we'll get to that when we get there. Be any second now, he'll walk away. Here we go, he's walking away. Now we listen. Okay, he has he has passed the door and he's going all the way out. So we'll give him some time because, like I said, these doors do make noise. And hold the noise and listen. If we can't hear his footsteps anymore, we should be good. Did you can listen to that ominous music. You hear that? Now it's gone. We close the door. It's going to come up again because the door makes noise. I know it's very hard to hear. I don't want to blast your guys' ears off with scum audio because it can be very intense sometimes. Alright, he's gone back down to his friendly location. We gotta do another fuse, so we're gonna go put a, a 600 in. Ambient noise is getting kinda loud now, so we should probably stop moving, otherwise we're gonna get a trigger. Noise has gone away. Bo was freaking out. I'm gonna put the 600 in again. We're gonna go A and F. Remember, there's a lot of good stuff in abandoned bunkers. You don't just have to go and do the armories. We're only done A and B. Oh, sorry. I guess technically F is almost done. So with that one, we knew that it was one of the codes we didn't do, and with the advanced level of thievery, you're able to do four codes every time very easily. Uh, if you do mess up, though, you can get three, and if they're all close together, you can actually get five codes done at once. Though it is very difficult, and ping plays a huge factor on that. Alright, we're going to stop after this. Let, yeah, there we go, let's see, there's the rattling. We have two screwdriver uses. We have an advanced lock pick. Normally, I would say absolutely not. But considering this would be on a low geared person who wasn't going to go all the way downstairs to the bunker, or sorry, not the bunker, to the locker, I'm going to say yes, let's go ahead and do it. And the reason is we could get some nice stuff. You can also, yes, you go all the way downstairs and get some. Oh, don't tell me. Okay, okay, not bad. Not great, but it's a gun, right? And we can find ammo for that. And it's got no magazine. We need 762 by 54, and you can find those on puppets pretty easily, I find. And it doesn't matter the quality anymore, guys, remember? Because gun jamming isn't a thing right now. I don't know if it was bugged and they took it out or if it was a bug that it's not in, but your guns will no longer jam. Even if you use the absolute crappiest ammo known to man, you'll be fine. All right, so we got some pills there, Ooh, double antibiotics and a, a fuse. Oh, well, that's fine, man. Anything's like, honestly, it's all appreciated. One month, two months, six months at it is above and beyond no matter how many months you go about doing it for. It is um, very not, it's definitely not mandatory. It's generous. I'm not going to critique somebody for being generous and say, oh yeah, you're not as generous as I'd like you to be. No, definitely not. Okay, we're going to eat some painkillers just to prepare ourselves for if anything does happen. 
We do have some alcohol. We don't have the scissors like I wanted, but we're going to go ahead and cut some clothes into rags so we can have some backup rag strips just in case. So we're going to go ahead and cut some of these clean rags or sorry, clean clothing. It's going to give us some rags. It's not scissors, but we're still going to get a good chunk of clean rags we can use with alcohol. All right, remember, it does make quite a bit of noise, so just kind of chill it out and wait a second. I just wanted to help out since you're an awesome YouTuber. Oh, well, thank you, man. I appreciate that. I don't want to say awesome, but thorough, succinct, uh, pragmatic. I'd go with all, any of those words. Awesome, though, is a little excessive. But I do appreciate the kind words, for sure. Shove all these into the pants pockets. We're going to have just rolls of aseptics in the pants. So, how many more uses? Do we have two uses? We're going to check it make sure it's above 20. So it's only at 17.9%. So there will be one use that we won't be able to get out of. Get out of it. Um, but it is what it is. Let's chop this. One of these small things up. If we do a fast, it might be able to work. Or can we do it with that? Still work? No, it doesn't work anymore. Must have fixed it. Maybe it's because it's not water. Anyways, yeah, so as you can see here, it's not letting us use it. The reason why, if anyone's wondering, if you right click on the alcohol bottle and do check, it needs to be at at least 10%. As you can see, it's only 7.9%. So we're just going to drink it because it gives a lot of calories. And we're going to hold on to the rag. Okay. I don't know why I left the fuse on. It would have been a good idea to turn it off. But we're going to go to G. All right, G? Yeah, we'll go G. Remember, jumping doesn't make much noise, so we can feel free to jump around like a little jackrabbit, kangaroo, whatever you want to say. Chances are this guy's gonna spawn in one of these rooms here. All good, not the sweat, not to worry about it. Very rarely do they spawn in the hallway. He actually spawned over there. I hope he doesn't come this way. We'll go quick. Oh wow, first guess. Somebody spawned over there, but that's okay. Shut this door just so they don't come run up on you. That's like the worst getting trapped in here where you can barely backstep with no melee weapon. I'd say that's probably one of the worst situations to be in with razors. Alright, we got another grinding stone. We're gonna take two of these. Actually, we're gonna take all these fuses. Drop one. And hopefully he's not right outside the door. We're good. Remember, when razors see you, it's not going to tell you at the bottom left side of your screen that you're vis that you're spotted. It won't tell you. They don't count as puppets, so the game doesn't recognize that as being seen. He's gonna spawn in that room over there in the office, but we're gonna go to the bathroom. Bathrooms are safe. They are safe zones from razors, but puppets can spawn in the bathrooms. We're not even. Gonna, uh, Only reason we're taking that is because we actually have 9mm ammo. And heck, having a gun, you never know when it might save you. Okay, there might be some puppets in here, so let's see. Just a razor. I'm gonna run up on him here so he doesn't get mad at us. Here we go. Close that door. We don't want to be jumped. Don't stand right on the door. They can pin you through the wall. I've seen it happen too much. Give him some space. He won't leave us alone for a while because he, he saw us. If we continue to make noise, it's going to take a couple minutes for him to want to bugger off and leave us alone. 
which we're not gonna wait that much time. We're just gonna get this stuff and move to the next room. I don't mind if the fuse runs out though because if the fuse runs out and we're on this side, we can just simply open it to get to the other side. It's like, who cares, no big deal. Um, so we're actually gonna go thoroughly through this spot and make sure we get everything. Because like I said, the best places to loot in these bunkers is not just the armories. Those are just the, the you know, if you got screwdrivers, those are just the simplest because hey, you've got everything you need to, to get through this, so just go down there. Okay, we're gonna kill this guy. Like I said, remember just backstep it. It's super easy to dodge, guys. Picking up arrows does make noise, shooting arrows does make noise. You've got to take all these into consideration when you're moving around. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. Close that door. You never know when somebody's just gonna come jumping out at you. That guy right there. I don't know what the hell his problem was. He wasn't even, he didn't even notice being shot. Ooh, dialogue, that's a good one. Can drop in here. That's the second cue, so he's already dropped, I think. our arrows we want those back always keep up up to date with all your arrows i'm actually really surprised we did not get a sewing kit yet it's usually something you can pick up pretty quickly in these bunkers especially if you're doing depositories Ooh, box of slugs that's nice we're gonna take these military goggles with us and carry them around because they sell for a pretty penny what the hell I have no idea how I got that shot on the guy in the door, but man, that was a very interesting shot. I'm gonna drink that one. Power's gonna run out pretty quick, but like I said, it's okay. We'll be fine. We'll simply just manually open that door to get out. It's too far away from Brenner that he's gonna get super mad at it. And the doors really don't take that long to open up. You don't have to worry about being stuck. There's the power going out. All right, though. He will drop. He's just waiting. Ready? We're going to move and he's going to drop. I'm not falling for it, guys. He's there. See? Sneaky little bugger. He was waiting. He's like, oh, see? They don't know. They don't know. They didn't watch Palfy's video. They're just gonna keep going like nothing happened. I'm gonna sneak up on them with no noise. I'm gonna kill them. Don't fall for it, guys. Don't fall for that shit. too smart oh by the way i forgot to say this is with medium stealth uh i don't have advanced stealth you don't need advanced stealth don't listen to people who tell you you need advanced stealth you can do it with no skill the only thing that the stealth will help you with is reducing the noise you make so that through movement you are less likely to get razors One will drop here. I don't know if it's in this room or over there, but just gonna keep our eyes open. Okay, he dropped in the other room, so we're good here. Here when they get all like grouchy. Meta cats. We still got a good helmet. We're not gonna grab another one. And we've got tactical pants. This is in the A sector, so we have our tan gear. 
Um, obviously, you can prioritize whatever gear you want. There's a stab brew vest. There's a few things that you are likely not going to get in abandoned bunkers. And those would be hiking backpacks, um, tactical vests, or bulletproof vests. I'm not saying that you can't get them. I'm just saying that it is highly unlikely that you will. I've got all of them in bunkers before, but maybe one in ten bunkers. I get one of the, like a hiking backpack or a, a bulletproof vest or a tack vest. And like I said, I get a bunch of these keys because it's just the way we have the server set up. I didn't see where that dropped, so I just kind of panicked there. We're going to try that again. Okay, remember punch, bow, arrow, shoot, shoot. Is there another guy in there? Or just one. Those fast ones can be a pain in the ass. Oh, our quiver is going down in quality. Really like to get a sewing kit. Or at least a, a needle, not a needle, sorry, thread or fishing reel. Obviously, we're not going to find fishing reel here at all. And thread's going to be pretty hard strap to find that as well. I'm just going to wait for this noise to go away. There we go. Get back to doing what we were doing. Welcome to everyone who's jumping in. This is a 30-30 duct tape. If anybody... Anybody knows that's the stuff you want to pick up. Those are for the mines, explosives, things like that. Need 30-30 duct tape and other explosive materials use a what? 10 uses? 10 or 15 uses, so that works well for both of those. Stop moving for a second. So we've done F depository, two Bs, and G. So that's four of the five upper depositories and not found one sewing kit, which is pretty rare. We did find a tool kit. But still, sewing kit was kind of on a shitty side that we weren't able to find one. Uh, because our quiver is getting pretty low. We don't want to lose that quiver. those radiation suits too yes yes i definitely would not use a 30 30 duct tape on a rad suit though i would use the scraps left over from from those like if i used it on a um a mine and there was five uses left because until they start actually implementing the change where you can use a specific amount of each to to total like 10 uses of duct tape or whatever it happens to be, then you don't really want to be wasting the required materials. Oh, it startled me again because I wasn't paying attention. Now we're not even going to kill him. Honestly. Right, you know what I want to look at? Archery. 215. 2684. How much XP do we get? Okay, we get like... Oh wow, like 4,000 XP for a headshot on a Razor, and you get four of them? Two hundred. went from 215,000 to 217,000? No, 2.17, there's no way we got 20,000 XP from that? Holy shit, that's a lot. Is that just me or is that a lot of XP for archery? I know we're advanced already, but still. Oh, give me that. Oh, that's pretty good. I think we have a, yeah, we have a level two ampule on right now. Yeah, he's gonna drop in the other room, sounds like. Yeah, 218. So I only got from three headshots on him. I only got a 10,000. But the, the 
four head headshots on the uh, Razor, I got 20,000. I know it's one more headshot, but I actually have to look at that if Razors give more XP for killing, because if so, it's a new archery leveling ta tactic right there. I don't think somebody might glitch through the door there, so we're just going to keep an eye on the door. There we go. Thought so. Always went away. Hoping we get fishing reel, but like I said, probably not gonna happen. Oh, so we kit, where are you at, man? There's gotta be one in here. Like this, these are all sharing the same depository loot for the most part. Amps and basic stuff, so you could find anything in here except the modules. more right above the vent there so that's something you got to be careful of just gonna wait a second yeah 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 so searching bodies is making any noise but as soon as you finish searching and all the loot comes piling out that does make noise just remember that if you're searching a player and they have a lot of gear on them chances are you will spawn a razor from that all right so the door this is a tricky part for a lot of people, so pay attention. Step one, wait until the ambient noise goes away. That way you know your noise threshold is reset, okay? Two, when you're holding F and you're about to do it, make sure you're walking, you're close to the door because if you're far away from the door, what you're gonna do is you're gonna run to the door thing, see? And that makes noise. You don't want that. You want to simply be close on it, so you don't move at all, and do it. I accidentally clicked the door there, but I'll show you guys real quick. The first turn is the loudest, okay? So watch the noise meter at the bottom left. First noise, super loud. Nearly two-thirds full. Next turn, less than a half. Two. And we stop. That's all the turns you want to do. Getting into the habit of doing the two turn stop, or sorry, the two noise and then stop method will be good downstairs because it won't trigger Brenner. Only, the only door that you can't do the two turn or two noise stop method is the armory door. That one you have to only do one. So the initial start and then two turns and on the third turn you're going to stop. Because if you notice with my hands, one turn is starting, right? Noise. No noise. Oh, I didn't, because obviously. Yeah. I'm gonna be on this side of the door, so when the door closes, we don't want to be stuck on that side of the door. Because remember, when you manually open a door, it only lasts for about 10 seconds open, or 15, I think. I wasn't really counting. But you don't want to be stuck on the other side of the door. Then you gotta do the process all over again. Ideally, we'd have that door closed. And all these doors closed. You don't wanna leave any of these doors open. PvP, people are gonna easily spot that and be like, oh, somebody's here. And they'll just camp you at the door. You'll be demolished. Come on, buddy. See, it's almost as if I don't hit the spot and it kills them. Like I said, just aim high. Okay, 600 amp fuse. We're actually... We don't have that much space available to us. Oh, nice level 3 ampule. That's good. That's very good. We could probably wiggle some of these. I don't really have a whole lot of room at all. Okay, well, why don't we get start getting some of these clothes that we don't need anymore. Um, Bava. That. I don't need that bandage. It's pretty crappy. Like I said, you're gonna come out of here with so much stuff. So much stuff. You gotta really prioritize what you're going in for and what you need. I would never go to an abandoned bunker and not hit the tarp room. No matter what, no matter how tight my inventory was, nothing. I would always hit the tarp room up. But we've got enough rags uh, that we don't need to carry around some of these these clothing pieces anymore. We, just, we don't need it. 
So this one's actually better quality. So we're actually going to migrate all of our stuff over to this piece and then put it on or this article of clothing. Let's get rid of that one. Nice. All right. Looking pretty good. I think that is good enough. This is heavy stuff, though. We don't need two blue key cards. I don't know why we have two. We're going to drop the 600s for now because we do have two 800s and it looks like we won't be having any issues getting more. Okay, so now we've dropped everything we don't need. Got a little bit of space left. We're actually going to move these here because this is like really heavy stuff can fit in here, 10 kilograms. So we're going to put all the lightweight stuff down here. There we go. Perfect. All right, and we got the arrows. So let's go with this. We're going to power A, B, C, right? And then we're also going to do E block. If you guys have never been to E block before, uh, do it. It's super useful. The amount of stuff you can get there is ridiculous when it comes to block picks, screwdrivers, uh, duct tape. What else can you get there? Uh, locks, like straight up just gold locks, silver locks. Okay, Brenner's stuck. We're gonna kill this razor here real quick. And I missed that shot. They wiggle a lot, by the way. It sounds like Brenner's stuck downstairs in that block, so we just want to be careful. Uh, because he won't take as much time to get to us. We're going to wait till that noise goes away because I don't want to close this door again and have another freaking razor spawn. Okay, let's close it. The reason is if, I, if Brenner comes up here and I have to run back to the generator room, I don't want to have to worry about killing the razor or getting pinned by the razor that's there. All right, so remember, high number first. So that razor there, he is crouched. But when we do the alarm, he will aggro on us and he'll get mad at us and come running at us. So let's just go ahead and kill him now. These ones are very oblivious to everything that's going on. This guy down here is going to come running at us. So we're just going to kind of shoot an arrow down towards him. So he comes this way. I don't want to have to run too far for my arrows. Like I said, this guy's very oblivious to everything that's going on. You could walk up to them pretty close, wait for them to turn the other way, and just shoot them right in the sweet spot. Probably get it right there, but yeah, there we go. Like I said, don't don't be afraid of them. Don't have to sneak past them. You can walk up to them. Obviously, if you run up to them, it's you're gonna piss them off. So don't run, but just walk up to them. Smack him. Beat the shit out of him. Alright. I'm gonna pick up that 9 mil ammo because it's actually 29 rounds. Wow. That is very fortunate to find something that good. Alright. Don't need 338. We're gonna drop it. We need the 5... Uh, no, 762 by 54 for the rifle we have. Quickly look in here. There's two keypads we're going to want to do. Okay, we're going to get a spawn, so... Oh, nice gloves. We're just going to keep searching while that spawn happens. He's going to be on our right-hand side there. He's going to drop right now. We're going to run over there. There we go. Drop our old gloves. We did run out of arrows. Okay. Or run out of a stack of arrows, I should say. I always just make note of that when you're running in here with a bunch of arrows. Make Just check on how many you have every now and then. You don't want to be running out when it's your only weapon. And there's no bushes around here. Alright, so we're going to wait for the noise to go. We're going to go to this door first, okay? This door is going to be 
Um, obviously, we're gonna do the codes that we normally try. Okay, so we know it's either 379. Oops. Come on. 379 or 39. 397. Oh my gosh. He's coming up, so we're gonna do this code next. Alright, we got in here. Take care of and we're gonna go in here, we're gonna hide. The reason we're gonna hide is because Brenner will take longer if he sees us. You don't have to worry about that. We're hiding here, he won't see us, he'll leave quicker. I don't need that, I'm not planning on getting any Brenner blood today. Still, surprising. Zero kits. Zero. Oh no, I didn't have lose a stack, I just, just moved. He's stuck in the stairwell. It sounds like he's stuck. So obviously if you don't hear his footsteps, a good indicator he's not coming. But in case he does show up, we're gonna go in here because he can open that yellow door even though it's keypad locked, he can still open that door and very easily um, beat the crap out of you. I saw there was a puppet there who's in that building. He heard us and he's running to the door, so. Razors can't spawn in here, they can't spawn over there, they can only spawn in the area on our left, which is in the uh, spot with the yellow door. Apparently he can't see through the door. Or the wall, I should say. Or the window, my gosh. That's good. I'm just gonna go collect arrows before I forget. I did overshoot one down here somewhere. There it is. Check these bottom spots for any proximity loot. It looks pretty clear. And then we're gonna do the good old jumperoo. Get on these filing cabinets, get on these desks, and search and jump. If you spawn any razors here, they're gonna spawn down in Brenner's room because we're pretty much right next to Brenner's area. Of course, this is going to be the day I don't get any... Oh, there we go. So, a, not a gold lock, but you know, it's an iron lock. It's something. And a lock pick. And as you guys know, when you can find those, you can find gold locks, screwdrivers, and so on and so forth. It's all on the same drop table. And there's pens, and there's going to be duct tape, other things like that. Good crafting materials, nobody really ever comes to this room. It's quick, it's easy, there's lots of desks. Very simple. There's a wooden arrow, we'll get the rest in a minute. Alright, that's everything. No screwdriver, sadly, but you know what? That's okay. Gotta start somewhere, right? Alright. Let's get the heck out of here. Hold that door. There's a razor. He can't see through this, but we're gonna just open the door and shoot right in the back. Got the KO. Alright, Brenner's downstairs. Puppet sees us. There he is. So when the power goes out, these doors will open. Oh, they'll stay open. Except not these ones. These ones will close, but those yellow ones, uh, oh no, what am I talking about? 
I lied, I lied. Can't see that stupid. Yeah, it's right there. And over there. I think this is the only one they can fall from. Like I said, it almost looks like you're gonna miss the shot. That's how high up you gotta aim on those guys. Alright, that's all, all good. What I'm saying is these doors will close when the power goes out, is what I meant to say. Just like the depository doors, so leaving them open is not gonna do anything for you unless you open them when the power is off. Any door can be crowbarred, like that has a keypad, so depositories, these yellow doors, uh, those ones can be crowbarred, but what the hell is that? Hmm, must be downstairs. I don't know. I don't see anybody. But you don't really want to be wasting a crowbar on these doors, to be completely honest. Like, the depository ones, yeah, I could definitely see the worth for it. Yeah, no. Can sewing kits at all? Like, what is going on? You don't want me to have working gloves or, um, fixed, yeah. Excuse me. They don't want me to have clean gloves. Clean, non, non tattered gloves. Yeah, Brandon's back in his area. That's his hopping and popping up down there. Um, a door doesn't seem to make any noise because it's a keypad door. No, uh, no audio. Never mind, I'm not gonna do it again. Okay, we didn't finish searching down here. We'll go here real quick. These last couple remnants of pieces. We don't need this power on anymore, so we're just gonna power it off for now. Reason is, it just has enough time so that we can activate A, B, and just quickly run through A, B, and not have to worry about having to manually open anything. Now, some people like to do that and some people don't like to do that. The reason I'm against leaving the fuse upstairs on is because it is a clear indicator that either somebody has recently been in that bunker or somebody is still in that bunker. And you relying on that fuse could, uh, well, somebody could really screw you over by simply Turning it off or taking it out. Is this guy turned around? Can't tell. Alright, I'm just gonna shoot above, like I said. Oh, apparently I missed that one. Oh, he actually got us there. Wow, oh, he jabbed me pretty good. That's our first hit. C2 injury, as most of those injuries happen to be. I'd say 99%, they're all 100%. Weird. Uh, most of the times if they jab you, they're gonna get you with a C2 at the least. Um, if you're turned around when they hit you, more than likely they won't do any damage to you. They'll hit you like your backpack or whatever. They'll load, that'll absorb most of the damage. Why is, oh, okay, never mind. The sector is different. Or not sector, block. Why do I keep saying sector? This block is different. Surprised we still have not found a freaking meat cleaver. Here's this guy here. Like I said, I'm gonna try and get him because it's hard to shoot over when they're not, um, when they're in that position, but we can shoot at the angle pretty easily there and get the kill. You don't have to run, like I said, just walk quietly. You could, they're pretty docile at that point. So just, Take a breath. All right, that's everything here. It doesn't matter, he's gonna spawn in there. The door's gonna be closed by the time he spawns. We don't have to worry about him. Uh, we're keeping on our injury, make sure it stabilizes. There you go, he fell back there. We don't have to worry about him. My coffee's going cold because I wasn't drinking it. The reason we're slow walking is because, slow, sorry, slow crouching is because fast crouching actually doesn't stabilize as quickly. It really reduces the time, and if it's anything above a C3 that hasn't been bandaged with, I believe it's a tourniquet, will 
will actually reverse the stabilization. We'll revert back. So just go slow while your health is low, because if I get hit by another razor, more than likely that wound is going to open up again if they get me in the hand, and it's going to be a C3. Now that we have the majority of the upstairs, well, the entirety of the upstairs completed, this is the point where you think about, should I go further into this abyss? The reason I say ask yourself that is because if you're full of loot, then you don't really have any room to keep going. But if you got a little bit of room like I do, I would always leave a little bit of room like this for the, the tarp room. People call it the tarp room, the sentry room, whatever you want to call it. It's the room just down the stairs here. Now we're going to close this door. I'm just going to wait a second. I'm going to go third person because you can see puppets in third person quite a lot easier. I'm going to walk right into this corner. Stand up. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, that's a few. So what we're going to do then is we're going to go back over here. We're going to open this door up. And we're just going to cheese through the door, guys. It's very simple. Walk over here. They're all mad at us. And now we wait. You don't have to do it this way, but like I said, we have no melee weapon. So it's kind of a death trap going into a lot of puppets with... I guess we have a knife. A very terrible knife. Okay, they've all decided to stop coming at us. Woo there they are. Whoa. Remember, like I said, you can jump through the door of those guys, so... How do I keep missing? Stop moving. So why bring a lot of arrows? Like I said, on my server, this is times six puppets um, in the bunkers. Instead of, oh, you'll, you'll run into a lot. I'll run into a lot. And then we're gonna get another razor. Make sure we have arrows left over. We got plenty. And drop on our left here. Position ourselves on the side, very easy. That arrow loaded, you can see his little feeties. Shoot him in the butt. Or shoot him in the back. Welcome to all those tuning in. We're just about to go downstairs in the bunker. Hopefully you guys can see I have the filter on. Right, we're going to wait till that noise goes away. That way we can go. Our injury is fully recovered. And now we can start picking up our arrows. Remember, arrows make noise. I do hear some puppets. So chances are they're going to come running at us when we least expect it. But we're not going to keep searching these until we go over here and kill these last few puppets. Last puppet. That would be a situation that advanced archery is going to help you get out of because of the speed in which we can shoot the bow. If you don't have advanced archery, by now you're probably going to have it over basic. So it it will help, but it is a low powered bow, so it doesn't take much energy to pull back. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. You like to lurk? Yeah, well, a lot of people do, man. Just turn it on, just chill. 
Like sometimes when I'm watching like YouTube, if, if I watch somebody's live stream, which very rarely do I have the time to sit down and actually watch a live stream. So I already automatically know that it, not everyone has time to do that. They'll maybe go back and watch the highlight or whatever. Like that's fine. But for me, if I do watch a live stream, I'm going to just turn it on and very rarely ever say anything because I'll be doing something. I'll be like working or whatever, and I don't have time to just stop what I'm doing and send a message like a text or whatever. But I don't mind having it on as background music or background noise and obviously supporting the person who's, who's streaming. I, I appreciate it for sure. All 16 of you that are lurking together, appreciate it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. We're gonna get our bow out. I don't like not having it out. Remember, we're looking for 762 by 54, yeah? Yeah, okay. Seen any yet. Keep our eyes peeled. We just need five rounds put into this gun. All the bodies. Quite a few bodies are stacking up. Let's close that door. I, I'd love to check everything, guys. I'm a weirdo like that. If there's a possibility of getting loot somewhere, because remember, you can get 50 cal weapons in these green crates. It is rare. You can get the M82. It is rare, but you can get them. Same with the 50 BMG ammo, which you'll more than likely find that before, but you can also find. Tactical vests, bulletproof vests, compound bows like that. Not too shabby. We're gonna swap that puppy up with what we have there. Can I put those on that? Yes, I can. Ah, yes. All right, we're gonna put that on the ground. We're gonna repair this one. It doesn't matter. You don't need to repair it, but I wanna use up that toolkit to give us some room. And we're gonna adjust that drawway to 105, I think. 120. Nice. We obviously have the strength for it, so it's no biggie. Let's nice, keep going. Alright, look at all those arrows sticking on that guy. Okay, we've got a compound bow. We've got fully geared so far. Obviously, like I said, there he comes. The reason I came in here with a hiking backpack is because I don't believe it's worth coming in here without one. Due to the unlikelihood that you'll actually get one in here, just come in with a backpack. My advice. Alright, search this guy's body up. Alright, there's a razor there. Somebody sees us, it's that guy way down there. Can I hit the metal? Okay. And jump is that dude. Oh my gosh, what? There we go, he's dead. Alright, let's see where can we can get that shot from here. He's down. Anyone over there? When Brenner comes through this door, he will leave it open. Every time. But not the upstairs one. Some of them he leaves open and some of them he closes, and I don't really know why. It just... I've not found a consistent reason yet. Well, those are good to keep. We're going to not take the pitchfork, obviously, because we don't really need a pitchfork or want one. Alright, so we're gonna loot all these arrows and see, because this room is usually littered with puppets. There are gonna be puppets at the back wall, there's gonna be razors here, there, down there. Just look what we're doing. Look around, keep your eye on that eye. Like I said, it's not gonna trigger if the razors see you, so you gotta be listening for the razors. We're gonna stop right here, because you can hear that ambient noise is getting quite loud. I'm gonna stop for a second. And the ambient noise has gone away. We can start moving again. Comes back pretty quick when you're searching though. As you can hear, it's already here. 
That there was quite loud. Give it a second. The reason I searched these little toolboxes is because, yes, you can get screwdrivers from them. And car repair kits and other shit, but. It's always good. And these are the PS to resistance right here. These are the big ticket items. And we're going to wait now for the time, the noise to reset. There we go. Oh, see there's a puppet right there. Sneaking. Um, and obviously it's going to be the one day I don't get anything from these. Real. Wow. And these by default have a 50% chance of looting. These sentry equipped tarps. That's what they're called. I am just drawing the short straw today. Holy smokes. Ow. We get nothing. Wow, we didn't get any items from that at all. That is very rare. Well, obviously we... Essentially, so 50% chance to roll an item on every single one of those drops. And we walked away with zero out of, I think, 10? Yeah. Pretty crazy. Pretty freaking crazy. Research one more, it should make noise. Damn, okay, well, normally you can get BMG ammo from that, grenades, uh, toolkits, electrical repair kits, or electrician's tools, I should say. Other things like that. Um, screwdrivers, red screwdrivers are pretty common from there. The thing is that is a, they do allow multiple items on that roll, so you can get two BMG ammos, you can get two red screwdrivers. And the BMG ammo is very, very common in those drops. So, in case you want to sell for some money or use it for your gun, it's good to have some backup. It allows you to have a lot of extra cash, because I usually walk at like four or five stacks of them. Something wrong with the mic. You guys having some issues with that? Why does the mic sound so weird? I'm gonna keep an eye on one second, guys. For some reason, there is no limiter. There we go. Sorry about that. I don't know. I, I noticed it was capping the top there. Okay, hopefully that works. Okay, I boosted up the scum audio just a little bit and turned myself down a little bit. Hopefully that creates a better balance. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I know it's asking a lot of the lurks, but it, it helps me to um, make better content. guys in there he's okay to stay there they might they could sometimes get out of that it's pretty annoying oh, we're gonna spawn right on us upstairs they spawn the left of the door downstairs they spawn on the right of the door just easy way to remember upstairs left downstairs right because they both look the same until somebody drops out of it Oh, come on. Oh my goodness. Did I kill him? How did I kill him when I didn't even shoot him? Got the floor next to him and he died. Weird. Okay, um, let's just kill this guy because he's super noisy.
We got 12 arrows left, so let's just do a couple leg shots on this guy. We'll, we'll probably find the key card really quickly, but we're not going to go in and power the fuse yet. Oh, we already have the key card. What am I talking about? Somebody sees us. Is it always good to keep an eye on that? Remember with the compound bow, you don't actually have to pull it back all the way to shoot. You can just simply rapid fire essentially on the people. The peoples. We did get a little key, a little screwdriver there. We could check the lockers with that. The reason why I came uh, down here was the entry tarps. Kind of sucks we didn't get anything from them. But these also have a chance of getting screwdrivers. These little filing cabinets. And not all the ones with closed drawers are the only ones that can be opened. Like this one has open drawers, but that can be searched. Just keep an eye on that. There's a few things in here that even though the boxes are open, they can also be searched. So kind of just hover your mouse over each one to try and figure out which is which. He should spawn inside there. It will be fine. ones. Come on, give me a screwdriver, you punk. Lots of those key cards, though. Oh, yay. That's good. This is, will be a nice addition. Like I said, we're going to find a lot of medical things down here. Always good to have extra scissors kicking around. I always have a pair of scissors on me. No matter what. It's a very useful tool. Very foggy right now as well. I just realized that. Cheeseburger MRE is always worth taking. See this one open box right here? Can be searched. We're just gonna wait till the noise goes away so we don't get attacked. Wasn't anything in it, but you know. Good to take note of these things. Can't wait till they actually add like some variants to the bunkers. Would be nice. This guy right here. And this is the last of the F sector that we wanted to search. And why we got rope. Or wire, I should say. So that's everything down here. Now we gotta do that side. It looks like a few puppets down there. Remember, even a silence bow could make a lot of noise, so. Good to just take your shots, space them out. Don't load them all at once. Especially if you're kind of like, eh, with razors. Just take it on the slower side. If you start shooting at puppets from a long distance, and you just use your bow to stagger them, you can get quite a few shots and get tons of time before they get to you. One is over there, but I'm not going to worry too much about him yet because he's behind the little grate. Just went around the right hand side there. And always look where your vents are. Always look. You never want to be stuck underneath one. If somebody sees us and it's this person right there, obviously we want to kill her because it's going to throw off our hell did she go? There we go. Of course, there's the rays are getting mad at us because we're making too much noise. We're ruining his beauty sleep. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy. Like I said, just walk. Walk nice and slow. Outside of them. Hope it sees us. Punch him. And arrow. Super simple, super easy. Patience is important. I 
but obviously being calm. Oh, there's a, a puppet right there. He sees us. Oh, I forgot about the restart. Oh, that's loud. Being here. There's the noise. There's the crickets. Let's continue to do this. It's good um, that the server reset because it resets the bodies and our bodies can actually build up a lot of lag. Like on my rig, I run around 144 frames with my V-Sync on. I lost all those arrows, damn it. Um, wait, does that mean? Oh, dang. Okay, we only have 11 arrows left. How the hell did I lose all those? Probably a few down here that we need to kind of look for. Oof, they all reset. Okay, um, that's all right. Like I said it's always be it's always good to be cautious of the amount of arrows you have. It just means I can't willy nilly fire them. I need to be putting a little bit more thought into every time I load the bow and shoot it. So like right at the beginning of the stream, I told you guys there's two ways to do an abandoned bunker. One is how to do it loud and how to do it fast. This version of doing an abandoned bunker would be slow and a little more calculated. There is no right or wrong way to do the bunker. It's whichever way you feel the most comfortable doing and which way you have the most fun. Um, honestly, there's not a lot of content in Scum that you just sneak around and do very quietly. Um, like even when it comes to PvP, like I find most people run around and, um, so I think adding a, a stealthy kind of quiet aspect to the game is, oops, sorry, I forgot to turn that back on, is enjoyable and unique. So I like to do some slow bunker runs occasionally just to kind of give myself a different taste of the game. But like I said, no right or wrong way, just whichever way you like doing more. I definitely don't go quiet every time. I am, I don't know if, if anyone around here, I don't know who's watching, who goes in bunkers with me, knows I don't run them quietly most of the time. Normally when I'm with other people, I just say screw being quiet. Just run them. There's a guy way down there. We're gonna shoot him so he comes down this way. That way we can bring all of our arrows together. Takes three shots to the head with uh, wooden arrows to kill those guys. Hey, okay, one second. I just have to text my wife. One moment. Trying to get me while I'm on the phone. Bastards. Just real quick, where the hell? Woof. What I wanted, needed. There we go. I could have just gotten here. Attic. Controlled chaos is pretty, uh, me PT. Me parent or party. Appropriate. Appropriate way. Yes. Controlled chaos. You gotta have chaos to have order. Out chaos. Is all havoc. <clears throat> can I repair that? Oh, I can. I can use that whole thing up. I can. What else can we repair? Let's repair everything. I don't think there's really anything else we can repair in our arsenal of gear right now. Alright. We got 800s. We've got not a whole lot of room. But why don't we drink up? Oh yeah, see our thirst? It's going.
eat some of this food we've been getting. Actually pretty low on fats, so we should take some of that. These almonds. Almonds are good, good for fats. I got 20 grams of fats. Only 1.6 of it is saturated. All the other is good fat. Obviously our calories are gonna go up, but ah, I don't really care at this. At this point, you just wanna utilize what you're getting. You don't wanna leave stuff behind. It means carb loading and our calorie loading for a little bit. I think that's appropriate. I never carry the beef stew MREs, that's just me. Everyone knows that I don't like beef stew MREs. Oh, no, oh, leave that there. Card was upstairs. See, is that only has six minutes left on it? We're not even going to use that out of my inventory. And honestly, I'm not even going to use this iron lock. I don't need it. I'm just going to use the bigger lock. So there we go. Um, let's go ahead and power an 800 and do H block. We're going to go do, actually we'll do H and we'll do F E D. I'm not going to go do any armories today. Armory lockers because we didn't get any screwdriver. And we're running out of arrows. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Do not want to be running out of arrows down here. We have 11 left. There. Don't see any arrows here at all. There might be a guy down here. Stop. We're not going to pick up the arrows. There we go. The noise has stopped. So, we are going to go ahead and go down here first. Reason is, in case we don't get the code, um, I don't like wasting time. So, if we don't get the code, then we can go up to the F or the H block over there and we can lock pick medical locker. You know, it's rattling here pretty quick. That noise is quite loud. Let's wait for it to go away. There we go. I'll keep moving. I'm searching these because I really want to find sewing kit. And most likely I won't find one there, but I could find a better quality gear of the quiver or whatever that I'm currently currently damaged very nice that was a good one look at all those items holy smokes wow that was a four item that was a that's pretty rare to get four items in one right up on us. We can get my three arrows with ease. Remember, don't run. These guys over there, these little razy magazies, they hate it. As I said, when I run. More shot. Whoa, okay, you gotta be on point to do the dodging, guys. I made too much noise with the bow. Remember, because it's not just... It's not just the... Um, the burst noise, it's the, the... The small amounts of noise you make all add up. Minor additions make the loud noise. Like I said, if you ever hear them screaming and you don't know, you just, just jump, move out of the way. It's a good way to dodge them. That way you don't have to eat the uh, really difficult mini game that they've made now to get out of it. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna shut this door. The reason I shut this door is because Mr. Brett and we walk away, by the time we're done, that razor is gonna be despawned. The puppets in there are not gonna be mad at us and they're all gonna leave us the hell alone. As long as we didn't run, because if you run and Brenner hears where you go, the puppets will follow. And we're gonna go in here and clear this area out. Make sure there's nobody in here. Looks empty. It's very rare. 
We're gonna take our gloves off. It's been a while since I locked pick guys, so please, please don't be too hard on me. I'm a noob right now. Getting back into the swing of things. Okay, that was a fluke. 100 percent fluke. How many hours we have left? Ten, okay. Yeah, well, I guess eleven. We just neck one. Kind of searching these to kind of just to give us possibly an emergency bandage pack or a bottle of alcohol you never know when you're gonna find one of those and that's actually pretty common for the bottles of alcohol it's always good always good to have an extra bottle of alcohol kicking around rubbing alcohol never know when you're gonna go through a ton of bandages or have a team member who gets hit a lot that's another way to go ahead and go through tons of bandages. Like, we have this one guy who shall not be named. There you go, Axoprobi. Uh, who loves to stand under the vents. Yeah. Just always. There he is, standing under the vent. I'm not gonna say who it is, but they know who they are. Is that a waste bag, too? We are on fire right now. And an emergency medical bag package. All good. All good finds, guys. Like I said, the little things here are all add up. You can come in here with literally just a backpack, because that's all I recommend coming in here with, and walk out with tons of good, good stuff without even going anywhere near that armory. All right, we're gonna get a spawn in here. It's gonna be way down at the end there. Uh, so the interesting thing about these doors is they actually can't see through them. As you can see, he doesn't know what's going on, but we can, can we punch him? No, we can't punch him through it. Oh, we got two, damn it. Okay, we just want to do that because I didn't want to deal with two razors at once. You never know. Better safe than sorry. You don't want, you really don't want to deal with two razors at once, especially when you don't have a melee weapon. When you have a melee weapon, it's like, it's not the worst thing. But yeah, no melee weapon, no. It's very difficult to juggle that. Okay, let's just double check what we're doing here, and then we're gonna go ahead and shoot this guy. Look at that, he's even prepared himself to get one tap. Look at that. He knew, he's like, I'm about to just turn around right here. Perfect. All right, let's go up and do that code again. Remember, it was an 800 view, so we got tons of time. We got 16 minutes of time that we can play around with here. We've done all these little things up to there. Uh, there will be some puppets here we got to deal with. Remember, they were down at the door. There's one down there, but he's facing the other way, so we're going to actually get away with it. We're going to do 367. Three, seven, six. Come near and close the door. Now, when the bunkers just came out, there was a little bit of a difficulty with the razors jumping in. And they could like get you through the walls. I personally I haven't had that happen in a long time. But just be careful that if you do stock up a lot of razors by making a lot of noise, they could pin you through the wall. Um Yeah, it's very strange, but it's just another bug we kind of have to embrace and get used to. And I know somebody commented on one of my videos like, oh, it sucks that people can hit through doors or how um, easy it is for players to kill puppets through doors. And I'm like, I do agree with that, but I also think that it's kind of dumb that puppets can walk through walls. You know, like if, if puppets can walk through a wall then it only makes sense that I can hit them through a door. Does that kind of make sense? To me, it, it makes sense, so. so that's what matters. We're gonna swap these ones out. Oh, nope. It's gonna spawn one right there, making lots of noise. Oh, and remember, the the weight of the item when you drop it on the ground is gonna trigger bonds and piss Brenner off. If it's too heavy of an item and you move it, Brenner will instantly just say nope and come straight to the item. 
Another weird little trick I found with Brenner, if you throw something, no matter how much it weighs, Brenner will always get mad at you, but he won't go to where you threw the item. He'll go to where you... Sorry, let me rephrase that. He won't go to where you threw the item to. He'll go to where you actually started to throw the item. It's, it's very strange. He doesn't care about, the, like, I've used a, a beer bottle and, like, thrown it. Made a lot of noise over in the one corner of the room. But no, he came to exactly where I was standing. Did I, to get mad at me? I don't know, like, how did he know I was there? I, it's beyond me, but... Sneaky little bastard. He's got some innate sense of... Forensic projectile anal analysis or something like that. Okay, look at that. How many advanced lockpicks have we got from this? Crazy amounts, guys. I'm telling you, this is the advanced lockpick heaven. Uh, I don't want that. But still, surprisingly, zero sewing kits. It's just so weird. I usually get tons. Okay, anyways. Is there a 600 we can drop for that? Not really. We already got rid of all the 600s. Okay. Easy to kill razors, guys. Just take a breath. I just do a similar thing with players, which makes them useless, in my opinion, to distract them. Yeah. Really doesn't make much sense. But the flares used to be, like, they were too good, you know? You know, like, way too good. You could use one on a sentry. And I don't know why, but he would literally just stand looking at the flare. Even after it burnt out, he just stand there. Staring at it. Can I get that one? Come on. Okay, and we're gonna get another spawn. We're pretty much full now at this point. Even though we didn't really get very many guns or ammo for those guns, we do have a couple screwdriver uses. What one? Oh, we have one screwdriver use. Come on, fall. He's playing with us, guys. He's there. He's gonna fall. He's just trolling us. Waiting to see if we leave so then he can get the drop on us and actually pin us from a distance. There you go. See? Never trust those bastards, man. Never trust them. Okay. I'm going to cut one of these bodies up and get a... That's a little bit of noise. As much as I thought I was going to be, we'll probably check a razor. Yeah. Come on. Where are you going to drop, huh? Where? Right here? They take forever. They're really like kind of dog it right now. There we go. So they don't want him. Ha ha. Back step, shoot. Back step, shoot. Dead. All those arrows. Hundreds of them. We are, I think. Yeah. Thinking about going into that armory over there, but I don't think we have much time left, so I think we're just gonna go like this. Run up here, just in case the power decides to turn off. And right here. I craft to put ourselves a bone needle. No, are you kidding me? A knife's down here. Bone needle went in the place of the knife. There we go. We'll craft up our sewing kit. I wonder how much time we have left. I didn't really set a timer on it. Normally you can just tell your phone or whatever to set a 18 minute timer or 16 minute timer. And then you'll know for sure, but... 
wasn't really paying that much attention. We're definitely fixing that military quiver. We don't want that thing to break. That is a beautiful, beautiful quiver that we found like in the first few minutes of gameplay or of uh, the being in here. We're gonna repair the backpack and we're gonna repair our, I guess gloves and boots. Those are the next big things. Is that 84? Yeah, we'll do the pants too. A little bit of everything. And we'll keep that as an extra. A little bit of extra there. And there's the power. See, we knew we were running out of time. We're gonna go do the other depository as well. On that side. How many more arrows we got? Oh, okay, we're running low. We've lost an arrow. Just A, B, C. It's as easy as one, two, three. So this was just like a whole reason I did this was there was a lot of people commenting on my abandoned bunker videos lately. And obviously um, I want to be giving you guys information that is relevant and stuff that you're actually asking for. So I wanted to redo this. I want to redo the video. In the meantime, because it takes time to edit and record and all that fun stuff, um, I thought I would just do a stream on it and then I can just link people back to the stream, which is an updated um, how to do Brenner, how to deal with him, all that stuff with update in the name. Because when I first did that video, I was only like two weeks after the Abandoned Bunkers came out. I was still a noob at Abandoned Bunkers then. Like, I didn't know that much. Nowhere near as much as I know now about Abandoned Bunkers. I look back and I'm like, wow, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I believed that was actually a thing. Ooh, nice stun grenade. Anyways, not to rag too much on past Palpy in the past, but we all kind of do that as content creators. We want to be the first person to release a video, or at least one of the first, and we might not put as much thought and learning into it as we probably should have before we released a video on it thinking that we are professionals at it and then obviously having our foot in our mouth later and we're like damn i can't believe i told people to do that but i try i try to be very descriptive and get my information before i put shit out so hopefully uh hopefully it shows all right, the door down there is closed. That gives us some time. I love having extra time when we're dealing with Brenner. Now, like I said, we're not going to go ahead and... and Wait, I looted all that. Ah, damn it. Okay, we'll help we get this code right then. Yay! I love it when I get stuff like that. Love it when it gets to be easy like that. Nice, another lockpick. Hoping for, like, a module, because still, the only ones we've gotten are gray modules. I would not waste my time with a gray module at all. Just 16 times is, that's a lot to come in and, and do one crappy little one. Streams are great in the effort shows. Your video, your videos help me out a lot. Well, I appreciate that, man. All that little bit, all big, what the hell am I gonna say? effort that I put into the videos I'm hoping that it keeps up with longevity so even though that it might not be the most up-to-date video I'm hoping that the gist of the content stays relevant by finding aspects that are you know core aspects of, of the game but yeah I appreciate that I was like in the middle of like a we caught my throat there That was yawn. I got no excuse. All right. Um, we want to keep this extra bottle of alcohol for sure. Uh, I'm going to go and merge these two things of ammo. Drop that one. Put that down there. Gosh. We don't need the key card anymore because we are pretty much done down here. 
We're not gonna, <coughs> excuse me. We're not gonna go into the armory and do any of that. Um, I just, currently with our, the way our inventory is set up and the lack of extra space, it would be completely not worth it. It would just be a waste. But we are gonna take that because that sells for a lot of money. But even with the gear that we've obtained and like not just the inventory, like we walked in here with literally just a backpack and that was it. We've come in with, we, we walked out of here with uh, full gear, like clothing wise. We didn't get a ballistic vest or um, a bulletproof vest, which kind of sucks. But like I said, it's very rare to find a hiking backpack or a tack vest in here unless you do the armories. You get a higher chance when you do the armories, but still, I would highly recommend coming in with a backpack because there is too much stuff to pass up on. Way too much stuff. If that, ooh, nice. If that means just simply going to a few gas stations before you lock down which zone you're gonna go into, do that. Go to a few gas stations, try to get that hiking backpack. If you can't find one after a while, just do the top floor of the top of the abandoned bunkers because there's just way too much loot. The bottom floor, you're not actually gonna be able to get anything out of it. Going through all the effort to get down there and then only being able to walk up with a tiny little bit of loot seems like a waste of time in my opinion. Right, that's everything here done. He's done too. I'm surprised there's only one razor out here. I thought there'd be more. Right, we're gonna go ahead and try this code as well. I almost misclicked that one there. Well, I did misclick it. Nice, a suppressor. Oh, why I was gonna try to put it over there. We got for food. Yeah, way so many calories. Holy smokes! I'm gonna eat it anyway. We're gonna like look at that. Two thousand calories. Again, came in here with nothing, guys. No food. We've been keeping ourselves pleasantly plump. All those fuses went down a lot. I'm gonna drop those fuses. They're kind of crap. That suppressor in there. That should be worth a couple pe pretty pennies. But we check all these. There's a backpack. We could, if we wanted to, walk out with a triple carry backpack, but uh, I don't have a melee weapon and it is very dangerous, in my opinion, to try triple carry when you don't have a backup weapon that you can use in case of an emergency, aka a, a gun would be a good idea, like with a magazine, because this gun we have we don't have a bag for it, which sucks, but we just have to be very careful. Right. I think we only have one screwdriver use, so... No, we have three. Okay, so we can do the whole thing. Sweet. Like I said, we only... We did come in with a three-use screwdriver, because if you're going to try and do it during the day, you need a screwdriver to do it. And if you're not gonna do it during the day, then you can get out, you can pretty much come in here with literally next to nothing. All I say is a bow. You are comfortable with the bow and you know, just wanna get some XP. We found out that you get like tons of XP from the razors, headshots. Shoot them behind a wall, whatever you gotta do. Oh my God, are you serious? Okay, this is a piss off. I don't know if you guys haven't seen the, the, if you weren't here at the beginning of the stream, I got an AKS magazine. I literally dropped it on the floor because I said, what are the chances of me getting an AKS in here? Not knowing that I would get an AKS. So, wonderful. Maybe it'll still be upstairs. We can dream, right? Okay, that's everything downstairs looted except the armory. We're not gonna bother with the armory. It's it just, it's not worth it. We're gonna get a loud noise here. We're gonna stop. Wait for the music to go down. There we go. Search the body. Never know when we might find something good. One down there. I'm gonna go in here to H block. Turn on H. I'm just gonna check a couple things here before we go. Eve stew, yuck. Get out of here. Alright, we're gonna shoot that guy from here. 
Oh, come on with that duck. You know what? I'm not gonna bother with H. I'm not gonna bother with it. I need to get my arrow that I missed though. You know where the hell it went. Okay, well never mind then. Alright. Close this door so nobody comes behind us. Now we make the effort to go. Remember, the whole room in there can see you most of the time going up these stairs. trying to be oh for pizza because I didn't know he was above me okay oh we got two on us okay we want to pick up our bow just go slow now we run oh come on that was dumb they will hurt each other but I think we're stuck in a Point where we're actually just gonna get screwed here, aren't we? Well, that's not good. I don't even have my melee weapon on me. Now we're dead. GG. GG. <laughs> We got another one behind us. GG. Oof. That's a tough one. Yeah. Okay, so if we had the melee weapon, it would have helped a little bit there. But yeah, the I thought the razor was below us. So when he came jumping in on us like that, totally screwed us. Remember that when they're when they turn a corner, they're still jumping. So if they pin you, where the hell am I going? So they can pin you by simply the hell the fog just rolls in like jumping and is if you run around a corner they'll still be in air apparently in air if you in a straight line them they won't be jumping anymore so your goal is to not break line of sight with them in a in a turn that's what i did that was the big mistake there when i ran up the stairs the guy was still jumping when he came around the stairs and i kind of walked into the I, I did walk into the corner which gave me no room zero room to dodge you need to give yourself room to dodge, otherwise you get screwed like that. So we'll just quickly get back down there and go from there. It's nighttime, so there's no power. Uh, pretty easy to get around. Remember, there's going to be a lot of puppets, so... I'm going to wait for that noise to go away. And it's so foggy in here, holy smokes. But even people who have been doing bunkers for a very, very long time still die in them, guys. It's okay. Okay. I don't like this guy staring at me here. Remember with the with no power. We have to be a little bit more careful. Because those doors are only gonna be open for 15 seconds. Meaning at every point you go, you need a fallback. That's why if you're ever going with no power, I highly recommend going D block reason is you can open this door and you can get into multiple doors down there which are free from Brenner they're safe don't have to worry about Brenner coming to attack you 
Okay. And B block doesn't have that. B block only has doors that can be opened with electricity or the crowbar. So if you're manually opening D block, remember that. This is the block you want to go. Remember, like I said earlier, get right up to this thing so you're not running. Wait for the ambient noise to leave. There we go. I'm gonna do the start. One turn, two turn, three turn, four turn, stop. Sounds like quite a few puppets over there. A few are in the E block there, but okay, the noise is gone. We're going to go open again and we're going to walk back. As soon as it's open, we're going to walk back, not run. You want a little bit of distance so that in case we do need to fight some guys we can looks clear okay hey, you hear that Brenner's coming Our body should be here, but our body's not here, meaning we need to relog. There's a problem with this, though. Okay, we're just making sure Brenner wasn't coming up. We're good. So we have to relog and we have to find a safe spot to relog. When your body disappears and you can't see it, it's not gone, don't worry. The guns are still around. We got a key card. There's no real safe spot to log out here. The safest spot is gonna be down in the uh, kill box room. Since we have a key card now, we can open that door. We can hide in there body should just be right I think we'd add like right here oh our body is there what the hell I thought it was a puppet never mind don't listen to me remember this is gonna trigger a razor because we're making a lot of noise there we go and we're right under the vent so we're just gonna move over here go ahead you can kick the vent down now Backpack on, the shades on. Uh, that is our extra quiver. We can carry a quiver in our hand though, guys. But we also had, um, you know, we also had a ton of other shit that we need to worry about as well. So the bag, the helmet took a couple beatings, like it took a few hits, it went down to 61%. We could probably fit the AKS in our bag somewhere here. Just wiggle some things around. Not in there. Oh, come on. The walking through walls has to be my least favorite part about a mana bonkers fact that they can just say screw it I'm gonna walk through this wall it really does like it, it screws with you pretty good you never know what's gonna happen at that point remember just all I gotta say is you gotta keep an eye on that 
got to keep it on the stealth meter as best you can. You know you're going to be in your inventory sometimes. I do. Just got it. There go. Read up some space. Keep an eye over there. Make sure nobody comes running. I guess we used up our whole sewing kit. Which I don't know. It's right there. I'm going to repair that tactical jacket just so we don't damage all the stuff all the time. All right, we got a little bit of room left. We can carry the quiver. Even though our bow is going to be on the other side of that wall, or on that door, I don't really think it's necessary. If it was our only bow, we'd easily be able to go pick it up. Um, yeah, we're going to go actually and look for that. AKS mag. I think I put it down here. Okay, well, there's a guy right there, apparently. He's just gonna walk through the wall on us. Hang on again. Okay, I don't care. We'll be quick. All we're doing is looking. I'm not seeing it. More than likely timed out. Okay. I know I said you go A, B, or you go D, not A, B, but this one. What the hell is it making so much noise? It didn't do shit. Alright, we're just gonna fully open this door. Because there is a yellow door on the other side that we can use as a buffer against razors and puppets. Very easily. And if Brenner does come up at this point, we're so close to the end, we're going to be exiting. It doesn't really matter. But we're just going to run through here. You hear the razor is going to be spawning. Walk through this door. Close it. Keep going. Drop it. We can hear Brenner's coming up. That's all right. We'll be gone before Brenner even knows what hit him. Go. Let's open this door. We will get a razor spawn. Remember, this is impacted by your strength level. Every level of strength you get is two seconds off the time. Got it. I'm gonna run here. There. Close the doors behind us just so the razors don't come, but now they can spawn up here. This is a razor spawn spot here now, so just remember that. And just give it a second so you can actually see outside. For some reason it's dark as all hell when you come out here. There we go. Somebody turned the lights on. We're just gonna run. So that was a abandoned bunker run with no, um, no gun, no melee weapon. All we, all we had was a bow. 35 pound bow and we were able to get a, comp, a compound bow relatively quickly into that journey on the end of the first floor. But the bow doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if you have a good bow. Literally all bows do the same damage. It's the arrows that matter and wooden arrows were what we were using the entire bunker. We went through nearly 36 wooden arrows. We did use a lot quite frivolously and overshot them and didn't really care about them too much. But there you go guys i did die the death was honestly um i can just looking back on it it was rushed what i should have done was at that point where i had the room of guys on me and i had there was a couple puppets and, and two razors uh, what would have been a better idea is jumping the railing up top but i decided to leave try and leave and cut, catch them on the door not the best idea when you got three razors on you. So it would have been better to not go up the stairs, rather to stay down the bottom and clear the room. Just always clear that room. It's something that I totally blanked on, but that would have saved me. Would have been just easily go ahead, kill those guys, walk up the stairs free, get that razor who was up the stairs. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, to be completely honest, you mistakes happen you know you do those things it's the point of being able to see what you did wrong and correct it for the next time so you don't make that same mistake again but not a bad haul lots of grinding stones toolkits clothing uh advanced lock picks some of these um ampule enhancements we got a nice m1891 no ammo for it at all which kind of sucked which is very strange because normally you get the little itty bitty ammo off the puppets but yeah, honestly, 
you can walk out of there look full gear full gear we got a waist bag we got a quiver we got a helmet we got glasses we didn't get attack vest but we got a stab proof vest still works versus puppets we got attack jacket a shirt attack pants attack gloves lots of stuff there's tons of stuff to be had in bunkers guys don't worry about going down and lock picking the armories if you can't lock pick honestly i would just say learn as you go because that's how i did it if you go back and look at my videos of when i started lock picking it was horrible terrible like it it gets better keep trying keep putting effort into it and you will get better at it but anyways Hopefully that was a good introduction to the first stream back. It was a good turnout. Thank you guys so much for coming and watching the stream. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to go have dinner. And there will be a video coming out on the, what we talked about. Uh, but it will be done on single player. As I've said before, our server is more difficult in the Band of Bunkers. Our puppet damage is higher than vanilla. Our spawn count is, like I said, six times what vanilla is. Um, so it's it's our bunkers are more difficult you're more than likely not going to be running into bunkers of that caliber unless you're playing on a uh, PvE-oriented server. And that's what Gamers United is. It's a PvE server uh, with a little bit of PvP zones in here. But hopefully you guys learned something. The noise, the ambient noise was a big one for me when I hit that understanding. It's a good determining determination of how much you're at the threshold. If you guys have any comments, you have any questions, you have any concerns, please... Uh, join the Discord. It's Stream Elements has been chatting about it. Uh, talk in the scum um, chat. Also, there's a description Discord link in this description for um, the Gamers United Discord, I believe. I don't know. It's been a while since I've streamed, guys. I do apologize. But if you could do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button, it helps a lot. And uh, cl click that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And uh, turn on the bell so you'll get updated on the videos and the content in the future. So until next time, guys, have yourselves a great night. And I'll catch you on the next, next stream. Yeah, next stream. And uh, keep enjoying this crazy island that we call scum.